Anthony Grasso here, bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on eBank International Holdings. Should we invest into this Bitcoin mining rig company that is changing directions to mine actual Bitcoin and start its own crypto exchange this year? Well, let's find out together. I'm going to go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and give up my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for both your short-term and long-term growth investors out there. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from a non-biased source. So let's get right into it. So eBango Holdings International uh, is a China-based holding company principally involved in application-specific integrated circuit chip design and the manufacture and sales of Bitcoin mining machines. Now, the company also provides telecommunication products and management and maintenance services. The company uh, conducts its businesses in mainland China, Hong Kong, the United States, and other countries. The company most recently is getting into the crypto exchange market in 2021, and it's starting its own crypto mining operations instead of just selling the uh, mining risk machines so let's go go ahead and look at some news of the company so the uh the ebanger national announced the closing of a follow-on public offering the announcement was for the sale of 14 million units offered for sale by the company at a purchase price of five dollars a share for aggregate gross proceeds of approximately 70 million dollars now the company intends to use the net proceeds from the offering primarily for research development and production of sales of the asics and equipment related to cryptocurrencies now the expansion of its cryptocurrency mining business as well as established operation of cryptocurrency mining farms and general corporate purposes which may include working capital needs and other corporate uses. So let's look at the press release from eBang about Bitcoin mining operations, uh, mining business. Now, eBang International is to launch a Bitcoin mining business instead of just selling the rigs. According to the resolution, the company plans to operate its Bitcoin mining business by adopting a combination of deploying self-manufactured mining machines and mining machines purchased from other manufacturers, as well as leasing computing powers from other mining farms. Now, at the same time, the company also expects to invest in data center construction to provide support uh, for Bitcoin mining activities. Now, the stock price of EB and international holdings is trading over uh, almost 100% over the value uh, as of yesterday alone. Now, investors appear to be responding to eBank's international holdings, a, a, a board meeting, and passing the resolution to launch Bitcoin mining business. But a word of caution, there is no guarantee that eBank's operation of Bitcoin mining business will commence as planned or at all, or that such business operation will improve the company's financial performance or results of operations. Now, the proprietary mining venture is the latest expansion for eBank. So uh, in late December 2020, the company announced its plans to launch a cryptocurrency exchange by April 2021. Very little has been revealed about the proposed exchange, except that eBank has said it will be a regulatory compliant cryptocurrency exchange that would strictly operate outside of China, where the government has cracked down on trading platforms. Now, recently, eBank set up a wholly owned subsidiary in Australia as part of its strategy to create a digital asset trading program. In a statement, eBank chairman and CEO Dong Hu said that the completion of the internal testing of the cryptocurrency exchange is a step forward in expanding its blockchain financial services business. He said, uh, we will also explore other business opportunities in the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry, such as establishing mining farms and cryptocurrency mining to optimize the structure of offerings in the blockchain industry value chain. Now, let's go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of the company. Now, the company has a current market capitalization of around $1.22 billion. Now, the last income statement I saw from 2019 had revenues of $109 million with a total operating expenses of $159 million for a total of, uh, of a negative $50 million in total operating income and a negative $42 million in net income. Now, their position has been getting worse over the past few years. In June 2020, they reported revenues of $97 million with negative uh, $30 million in earnings. Uh, with a negative 31.2 percent profit margin now are the revenues and earnings forecasted to grow well earnings have declined about 74 percent per year over the past five years so the company is in needed uh desperate need to change directions of the ship or it's going to go under now ebank short-term assets both uh, exceeded short-term and long-term liabilities but ebank e e uh, ebank's uh, debt to equity ratio of 138 percent is considered high 
Now, are they in a good financial position? Well, they did have less than one year of cash runway, but that was before of the $70 million stock offering that was just announced. So the company needed to make a drastic change in direction, or I do not think they would uh, get them have gotten themselves out of the hole they, they've dug over the past couple of years. So let me bring it back here. So what are the analysts uh, consensus on this? Well, there's there's nothing. I couldn't find an analyst reviewing this stock or an, uh, or any analyst reporting on this. Just understand that eBank is overvalued based on its price to book ratio of 128.3 times compared to the U.S. tech industry average of 4.3 times. But uh, you really have to look at this company not for what it was in 2020 and before that, but what the new direction and they're going into 2021 and, and beyond. So my buy, hold, or sell recommendation on eBay, here are my thoughts. I feel with the development of Bitcoin mining business, the company will not only just continue to position itself as a Bitcoin mining machine producer, but this move will increase their revenue and cryptocurrency business and optimize their product offering structure. I believe it will help the company's transformation from a hardware manufacturer to a blockchain company uh, with comprehensive involvement in the industry chain. Now, without this move into the crypto mining business and crypto exchange this quarter, I would have recommended staying away from this company right now. But if you buy into this company, the belief is that the return on investment of mining Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will be a windfall for this company in the years to come. So this is still a risky bet. So what are the downside risks involved? Because we got to look at the downside risk. The upside risk is a couple hundred million dollars in revenue per year. So what about the downside risk? So you have to look at that. That goes uh, to whether the Biden administration or global governments start regulating cryptocurrencies more. For the President Joe Biden administration, the one key person that seems to be in strong favor of cryptocurrency regulation is Janet Yellen, the new U.S. Treasury Secretary. Now, recently, Janet Yellen uh, said some interesting things about crypto regulation. Uh, she said, I think it is important we consider the benefits of cryptocurrencies and other digital assets and the potential they have to improve the efficiency of the financial system. She went on to say, at the same time, we know that they, they can be used to finance terrorism, facilitate money laundering, and support malign activities that threaten U.S. national security interests and the integrity of the U.S. and international financial systems. But cryptocurrency regulation is not an easy task, though, by the way. Regulators aim at taxing capital gains from cryptocurrencies and target anonymity in the trades of cryptos. But somehow restrained cryptocurrency regulation may make it both safer and less volatile in the future. To the extent that excessive regulation takes place for cryptocurrencies, then the most negative impact uh, likely to be selling pressure on the market price itself. Less demand for cryptocurrency due to its regulation will probably send crypto prices lower, at least temporarily, until market participants weigh in on the new trading conditions and that we're not there yet. Now, that all being said, I don't think there's any short-term regulatory issues we should worry about right now in cryptocurrency regulations. But if Bitcoin prices and cryptocurrency prices do plunge in the future, that would have a direct and negative impact on eBay's bottom line and the share price of eBay in the future. But with Elon Musk buying up $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, I don't see a drastic drop in the future either. But that is a downside risk you should take in consideration before investing into this company. With all that being said, the stock price jumped up about 100% uh, today in 24 hours with a little under uh, $12 a share on the news. Now it's uh, around $10.74 a share. Now I'm a long-term bull on this stock, but I would wait until the drastic hype subsides over the next uh, couple days to look to buy into a profit taken dip uh, under under $10 a share. I would probably wait to even see if it, get, it dips between eight to $9 a share. Uh, and hold for the long term. My one year sustained stock price target would be around $20 a share if revenues from Bitcoin mining skyrocket to a few hundred million dollars per year and possibly even $30 a share if it can get uh, $200 million. So $100 million in revenue from, from Bitcoin, I would say a sustained price of 20. If they get 200, 300 million dollars, yeah, it'll go up to above 30 dollars a share. That's just my humble opinion. Now, for short-term investors out there that got into the stock around five dollars a share, it might be a good time to start profit taking and nibble back in the next swing. But I leave that up to you. So there you have it, folks. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you'd like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. Until the next stock update video later today, folks. Ciao.